Hey guys, my name is Jordan Lawan, and today's video is on ball valve basics. So there's lots of different types of ball valves, but all of them have five common things. A body, a ball, a stem, a seat, and a seal. All of these also can come in multiple different types of materials and configurations, but all in all, they all do the same thing. The main objective is getting this ball to turn 90 degrees in order to allow or prevent flow. The thing about ball valves is they actually belong into two main categories. The first one is a quarter turned category. Similar to a butterfly or a plug valve, they rotate 90 degrees to allow or prevent flow. The other category is a position seated valve. These valves more or less put an obstruction in front of the flow path in order to allow or prevent flow. So when this valve is closed and all you see is this part of the ball, your process flow isn't going anywhere. So in front of us, we have different types of ball valves. We have floating ball valves, trunnion mounted, mounted ball valves, segmented ball valves, V balls, rising stem balls, and eccentric balls. Minus the rising stem ball valve, all of these valves rotate this ball 90 degrees, typically with a stem that rotates 90 degrees. There are multiple mechanisms in order to turn this valve 90 degrees. They can vary from a small lever, a gear operator, a detachable lever, a scotch yoke actuator, a rack and pinion actuator, or a small electric actuator. Talking about quarter turn ball valves, the one really great thing about them is the fact that they can open and close very, very fast because their range of motion isn't very wide. The advantage of that is they're very easy to operate and they're great in on-off applications or ESD applications. So one of the great things about ball valves and part of the reason why they're used so often is this diameter of this, the internal diameter of this ball, typically in a full port, is the same diameter as your pipe. So your pressure drop is almost none. However, these valves do come in multiple configurations. First one would be your full port where the inner diameter of your valve is the same as the inner diameter of your pipe. The second one would be your reduced bore, which means that you have a smaller bore in your, in your ball compared to your pipe. And the third one would be a Venturi reduced bore. So essentially, this is a reduced bore. However, there is a taper leading up to the valve and going away from the valve, which creates a nice smooth transition to minimize the pressure loss. As you guys can see, there's a lot of different types of ball valves out there. On top of that, a lot of different configurations and materials that they come in. One of the hardest things in my perspective is finding the best configuration that suits your process conditions. And sometimes that can be challenging. When it is, feel free to reach out to one of us and all of us would love to help you to make sure that you get the right valve for your application. 